Hey guys, welcome back to the Waz Team YouTube channel. I'm Jeffrey Waz, reminding you if you're thinking of buying or selling your home, call the Waz Team, Terry O'Connor Realtors, White Wolf Office. Okay, today it's time for another episode of Real Estate IQ. You'll recall what we do here is go to various towns around Bergen County and we ask random people off the street some pretty simple real estate questions and we like to see what they have to say for answers. The answers we get most of the time are pretty funny. We're hoping today we're gonna to have the same thing. For today, we have the pleasure of being at Abla's Farm, which is in Whitecloth, New Jersey. If you grew up in Franklin Lakes or Whitecloth or Ridgewood or any of these surrounding towns, you definitely know about Abla's Farm. And you've probably been here playing with the animals, going pumpkin picking, or doing many of the other things that they have to do here. Today, we have the pleasure of talking to Valerie Abma. Come on in, Valerie. Thank you for being on our channel. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, Valerie is obviously somebody working at Abba's, and um, we, I guess, just wanted to ask you a couple questions on Abba's real quick. Um, when I was doing some of my research, and, and by the way, I, I grew up in the area. I've been coming to Abba's for probably 25 years. Uh, I've taken my kids here for about the last 15 or 16 years, and um, usually come this time of year. This is my favorite time of year, pick the pumpkins and stuff like that. One of the things when we were doing our research on Adams that I found very interesting was, I guess, Barney Abma purchased this property in, I think it was 1932, if I read correctly. That's correct. For, and he purchased 50 acres of land, 50, for $6,000. Is that, that's correct? That is correct. Okay, so just to put that in perspective for a minute, we do the simple math, that comes out to about $120 for an acre of land. Okay, so put another way, for the price of a pair of sneakers in a mall today, in 1932, Barney bought an acre of land in White Coast. It's just, it's astonishing when, it's astonishing when I see that. Um, the other thing I guess I found interesting, and maybe you can talk about this, you know, for, for, for a few minutes, is what are some of the offerings here that you have at Atmos? I mean, obviously we're, we're standing here with the animals, um, but there's a lot more here. Can you tell our, our millions of viewers uh, who are watching uh, some of the other great things here? Absolutely. So we are a four generation farm. We have a lot going on, um, which we're super excited about. This time of year is an awesome time to visit the farm. We have the farm animals uh, here in the barnyard petting zoo. We have goats, sheep, alpaca, pigs, bunnies, ducks. We also have hay rides to our pumpkin patch and our farm market has uh, our homegrown produce okay. and then all the goods made in our on-site kitchen and bakery. Like we're talking apple pies, pumpkin pies, apple cider donuts. Oh my gosh, okay. delicious. <laughs> it is, I can attest yeah. to that as Kevin is right here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And uh, we also have, well, our vegetable production. We grow on a total of over 300 acres uh, between here in Wyckoff and down in Hillsboro, New Jersey. What? And then our growing greenhouses, which I mentioned, we also has a, have a compost site. Where we uh, also topsoil and mulch. So a lot more than just the animals, which by the way, we're going to show you in a few minutes anyway. Before you go, we have to ask you a couple of real estate okay. questions. You know you're not getting out of it. Okay? You're gonna be you're gonna be interview number one. How's that? Okay. Is that okay? That sounds good. Okay. So, hi, ma'am. Your name? Hi, my name's Tina. Tina. Yes. Tina, thank you for being on our channel. Uh, your name, ma'am? Apple. 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 Tina and Apple, and we're on a farm. How about that? Okay. Hi, sir. Your name? Freddie. Ben. Ben, thank you for being on the Watch the YouTube channel. Rachel. Rachel, very nice to meet you, Rachel. And your name? Aileen. Aileen, thank you very much for being on our channel. We've got another duo right now. Number one, a very, very difficult question. Valerie, what is this? That's a home. A house. A house. What is this? Ding, 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 one for one. There we go. All right, we're off and running. Ding, ding, ding. I love watching people look at me when we ask those questions. What is the rate today, Rachel and Eileen, of a 30-year fixed mortgage? You had to take a guess. 7.21. Less close. Between five, nine, and seven percent, probably. 
I'm so upset. Okay, little low. 8%. Just under 8%. Yeah, they're actually, I mean, depending on the day right now. What is the median home price of a home in the entire U.S. today? Now I forget median versus average. Oh, boy, and you're talking to a guy who failed math. <laughs> High school. At least 750, 750. 750, okay. Probably under half a A little more specific, you want to something? You're right. 250,000. Close, close, somewhat close. Oops, a lot, 300K. You're, well, are you looking at my cards? Right. 400. 400,000? Well, I'm gonna get your answer. I was gonna say, yeah, around. You're, you're spot on, 390,000. Very, very, very good. <laughs> Let me ask it this way. There are six primary styles of home in the Northeast, okay? Uh, I'm gonna give you the easy one, Polonia. Besides Polonia, can you name two other styles of home? Ranch. Perfect. Cape. Right. Cottage, I guess. Well, okay, Cape Cod, yes, is <laughs> You mean condominium, can you take uh, it? Condo, no, uh, more like, uh, here, I'm gonna give you a hint. One level. Ranch. Done. Ranch, perfect. We're getting invaded by kids, okay. That's Ranch. Much. Perfect, yes. And a high ranch. No, there's no high ranch, but there is a ranch. And craftsman. Craftsman. <laughs> um, hold on. Um, no, craftsman is not one. Uh, let's give you another chance so that maybe the ghost can get fed. Okay. Split. Oh, uh, uh, my Oh, a bi split. Bi. <laughs> not, not, it's a family show. Bi. Level. Bi level. Perfect. Bi level. Bi level. I have a bi split. Okay. How much on average per year over the last 50 years have home values appreciated? So overall? Not just overall, one? just like on an annual basis. You know, like what percentage each year have they risen? 10%. Little high. Little high. She knows a little high. 1%, 5%, 100%. Close. 5%. Close enough. Close enough. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with, Je you know, Jeffrey Wass? Yeah. yeah. Surprised. Okay. You? Jeffrey what? Jeffrey Waz. Sorry. Does not ring a bell. Okay. Pretty famous uh, real estate agent, uh, the Waz team, Terry O'Connor, Realtors, White Cloth Office. Are you, does that ring a bell? Okay. <laughs> you know what You do. I've never heard anyone say that. Wow, that's good. Okay. So who who is Jeffrey Waz? No idea. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we were doing so good. That ring a bell. Terry O'Connor, Terry O'Connor, you know, everyone knows Terry O'Connor, <laughs> yes. When I say the name Jeffrey Watts. Big, big, big. Sorry. What comes to mind? Real estate. Oh! Big, you big, know big. it! You're the first person ever who knows it. Thank you. All right, there we go. Now these guys get extra food. All right. Um, Valerie, I think uh, I think that wraps up everything we had. Thank you very much for your time, your hospitality today, and showing us around here. We're gonna walk around and see some other animals, but we appreciate it. And for everybody out there, uh, 700 Wallens Road, right? In White, Cough, New In White Cough, New Jersey, Abma's Farm. What is the rate today of a 30-year fixed mortgage? What is the median price of a home in the U.S. Take your time, think about it. What is the median price of a home in the U.S. today? Whoa! Oh, geez. when I say the name Jeffrey Waz, what comes to mind? 